fellow Granard School. My name, as you can see from the logo on my shirt, is Super Cycling Man. And I'm aiming to cycle across all seven continents, including Antarctica, in a superhero costume. What do you think? Pretty super, huh? I've got a little secret to tell you. I'm not actually a real superhero. Some of you might have figured that out already. I used to be a primary school teacher in London, and my real name is Will Hodson. It's been my dream for many years to cycle around the world, and it feels so good to be doing it. And I really recommend that you go for your dreams, whatever they are. So over the next five years, I'll be cycling 100,000 kilometers across every continent. No one's ever done that before, and it feels so good to be doing something original. I'm aiming to raise 100,000 pounds for Parkinson's UK. My dad has Parkinson's, and another amazing organization called Sustrans, who organized the big pedal and several other charities. to inspire 100,000 school children with school visits and video calls. And talking about how we can all be heroes by doing three things. Of going for your dreams, never giving up, and being kind to others. And those things we can all do. Okay, I've had some questions sent in about my world cycle. So here we go. Number one, what countries have you been to so far? There's been 22 so far. That's England, France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Serbia, Macedonia, Greece, Turkey, Georgia, Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, China, and now Laos, country number 22. Okay, number two question. How do you get across rivers? Good question. Um, well, to start with, from England to France, I took the ferry across the channel. Um, but then with rivers, um, I just go over bridges or that's generally how I get across but my I don't have many rules but basically if there's land I want to cycle it I'm trying to cycle from coast to coast across each continent no trains uh, no buses no cars I will have to take a few planes to get across big oceans like from Japan to Australia but I'm trying to take as few of those as possible Okay, number three, where do you stay at night? Well, one of the things I'm carrying around with me in all these bags is a tent. So I'm often in a tent, just camping somewhere nice, somewhere in a forest, somewhere quiet and beautiful. Sometimes you get beautiful views of mountain ranges. Uh, sometimes people really kindly invite me into their house. Sometimes people pay for a hotel room that happened a few times in China and that's super nice and sometimes uh, I use websites uh, that can help travelers to find accommodation with families uh, for free which is amazing there are a lot of really nice people out there who just want to help people um, the world is really not a very dangerous place it's full of really nice people hello <laughs> <laughs> okay, question four. Can you monitor how fast you ride? Yeah, I've got a little speedometer, so I know that up this hill, <laughs> I'm going 8.8 .8 kilometers an hour, which is pretty slow. <laughs> and it tells me how far I go each day as well. So I try and do about 80, maybe 100 kilometers in a day. If it's nice and flat, if it's hilly, it'll be less than that. <sighs> What's my average speed? Uh, ran about 10 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's quite slow. There's lots of food stops to slow me down during the day. I might eat four or maybe five times in a day. 
Uh, if you like food, then cycling could be your sport. Okay, last question. How many schools have you visited so far in your travels? There's been over 40. So I'm visiting some schools, at least one in each country I go to, and I'm also video calling them. Maybe I could video call you guys. So it'd be great if you kept in touch with me as I pedal around the planet over the next few years. There's a website called www.supercyclingman.com. Yeah, no one had taken that address. I've got a, a GPS tracker, which updates a live map every 10 minutes so you can see exactly where I am and learn loads about world geography. I had no idea where Laos was in the world until I started this journey. <laughs> you can also send me an email with any exciting news you have or any questions you might have if I didn't answer yours today. And my, my email address is hello at supercyclingman.com. I'd love to hear from you. And I just want to say well done for finding time in the busy school calendar for taking part in the big pedal. And good luck. I really hope it's a huge success that there are so many bikes <laughs> that you can almost not get through the doors. I hope everyone gets involved. Every pupil, all the staff, all the kitchen ladies. Massive high five from me if you cycle in every day of the big pedal. And double high five from me if you continue to get on your bike and have fun on two wheels or one wheel if that's your thing. <laughs> After the big pedal's over. You get to see so many beautiful things out on a bike. It's good for your health. It's good for the environment. Saves you money on petrol. It's faster than walking. What's not to like about it? Oh, and it's just a lot of fun too. So good luck guys. I hope the big pedal's a big success. Stay super out there, you little heroes. This is Super Cycling Man signing off. One final thing I wanted to share with you guys was something called an A, B, C, D check. And it's a really quick and simple check to do on your bike to make sure it's working safely uh, before you go on a bike ride. So you just pick up your bike and the A part stands for air. I just want to check I've got enough air in my tyres, the front and back ones. Um, so if you give your front tyre a quick squidge and it's solid, it's okay. Um, you don't need to do anything. But if it's really squidgy and flimsy, you need to get some air into those tires. So maybe ask for some help to pump up your tires a bit, or even better, pump your tires up yourself. Um, my front tire's okay. And there's enough air in that rear one as well, so I'm all right. B is for your brakes. Check your brakes are working okay. It's very important to be able to stop safely if you're cycling. Um, so put your front brake on, and if it's holding the front wheels solidly, then I can push and it will, my back wheel will pop up like that. So that's okay. I want to check my rear brake is working okay. So put my back brake on. And if that's working, it will hold my rear wheel in place as well. So that's all right. If the rear brake isn't working okay, it will just slide out like that. So buddy. I think I was camping near to a field last night and everyone's going up and down this path to work so I need to be a bit faster making this video. Um, okay, C is for chain. Check your chain is working okay and it hasn't fallen off. So get your pedal and just spin it around like that. Um, that's okay. If your chain has fallen off, then ask for some help in fixing it or even better, learn how to pop your chain back on yourself and fix it. D is for dangly bits. So like straps on your helmet, sort your dangly bits out, tuck them in. If you're wearing trousers, they might go in your wheel or your chain and get dirty. So maybe tuck your trousers into your socks and get them out of the way. My cape is also very dangly, but luckily it's just about the right length not to go in the wheels. So wearing a cape is okay on a bike.
says Super Cycling Man. Uh, the last one, extra one, is E for enjoy your ride. So I want to check you're paying attention uh, and what the A, B, C, D stands for in the A, B, C, D check. So A, you can shout out, A is for, well then if you said air, B is for, well then if you said brakes, your C is for your, well then if you said chain, and D was for your, dangly bits, well done, tuck your dangly bits away. And don't forget the most important one of them all, one of, them all of E for enjoy your ride wherever you go. Cycling is so much fun. You see some great stuff and it's really good for you.